all right folks now i'm gonna go out here i want to show you one of the most interesting plants of which we call the baboon tail or monkey tail it's one of the plants that once went commercial where my grandparents and myself also used as a young kid growing up so let me go and show you what we're talking about when we talk about the monkey tail a lot of people might think that when i'm talking about the monkey tail they expect to see a real monkey tail. but if you look on this plant itself it has got this very nice thick fiber that covers its root the root grows from the ground all the way to the top here of the tip now this root is what one can use to make brooms with and i'm speaking out of experience folks this is what we use to make brooms my grandmother used to collect this and made brooms out of these roots of which at the end of the day she was selling uh, in, in in town uh, all you do is that you just take peel the, the fiber off like that until you get the complete root if you take a stone and hit this root it gets softer and softer you can only use one if you want to but if you want to make a nice broad broom you have to collect as many of this that once you clean out the fiber you soften the roots then you take your string start weaving them from the top up to the center and leave the bottom spread then you just take a stick also tie it there with wire then you've got a very nice broom going at the same time this plant can be used as a fire lighter because of this compressed root if you open the top like up at the top there you can put a hot coal inside there then it will start burning. It burns easily from the inside than the outside. The fiber is there to protect the plant from wildfires that it doesn't destroy the plant. So if you put the hot coal in, it will start burning from the inside very nice and slow. Every time you want to make your fire, you've got your fire lighter, you just blow, take dry grass, put them together, blow, and there's flames and then your grasses catches fire. Then you put it away. Because again, remember we didn't have mesh to make fires with. We used sticks of which we had to fixed together until smoke comes out and then from there it start giving you like a little coal then you blow it into the dry grass then you got your fire going now with this green that's growing on here the green leaves you can flatter carpets sleeping mats remember you didn't have beds our my grandmother used to make carpets for us to, to sleep on we used to make thatching, thatching twine with this for thatched roofs skipping ropes whips for when we headed out cattle and goats so i'm just going to give you and show you an example of how you can make a rope out of this or a fetching twine out of these green leaves now for these green leaves to stay long and uh, not wear out you pick a lot of them you boil them after boiling them they'll turn from green to brown color then in that way they are much more tougher and they don't break they, they don't break easily but you can also use them green like this but if you want it to last long after using making it green like this you got to keep it in in water that it stays soft because otherwise if it dries up it will get bristle and it'll start breaking so now this is how we made our ropes and our whips and this is so tough a few of this together you can make a nice thick rope with this of which you can tow a vehicle the size of this land cruiser this is how tough this is everything that you need is in the bush here only if you know how to use them